He's a horror core music star. The guy accused in the quadruple murders was a fan of his. The vibe he got when he met him. You know, I've met the kid before. Next on CBS 5. I'm an entertainer. And this kid kind of took it a little too far. It's hardly the first time music has been linked to violence, but have you heard horror core lyrics before? Well, the music produced by a Bay Area 20-year-old now accused of murdering four people. Not out of prison a week and killed on the streets of San Francisco, how police are responding to a sudden burst of gang violence in the mission. And forget passing the class, why just getting into a class is a much tougher challenge for students across the Bay Area. And he's not your average talk show guest, the president on Letterman in just 30 minutes from now. Hello, I'm Julia Goodrich. I'm Ken Bastida. The news starts now. This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. A case of life imitating art, his lyrics glorify death and violence. And as Joe Vasquez tells us, tonight, that's what a Bay Area rapper is being charged with, a quadruple murder. Joe? Ken, that murder suspect emulated a musician from the Bay Area named Mars. Actually, he's from Pittsburgh. He's on a national tour right now. We spoke to him today from Los Angeles. Mars tells me the kid gave him the creeps because he was such a rabid fan. A warning, some of the lyrics you're about to hear are not suitable for younger viewers. I know this kid used to go to all my shows, all the autograph signings. I see him out of state at the shows. And you go to all the functions, man. I know he was a big horrorcore supporter. The Bay Area artist behind the Silence of the Lambs mask is a rapper named Mars, one of the best known in a music genre called horrorcore. The insane clown posse is perhaps the most famous horrorcore band. The more shocking the lyrics, the more popular. Often there's a theme of murder and mayhem. One of Mars's songs is called Schoolhouse Glock. Mars tells CBS 5 homicide investigators in Virginia called him over the weekend to ask questions. 20-year-old Richard McCroskey of Castro Valley, the man suspected of killing four people, is a big Mars fan. The cops wanted to know more about the music of horrorcore. First thing I thought, I was like, man, not again, because the media always tries to blame it on me, like, like I was the one who committed the crime. But really, I just... I just do entertainment, you know, I'm an entertainer, and this kid kind of took it a little too far. Police believe McCroskey attended a horrorcore rap festival in Michigan two Saturdays ago with two young women, returned to Virginia, and committed multiple murders. Emma Kelly, McCroskey's girlfriend whom he met online, her friend Melanie Wells, as well as Emma's parents, Mark Niederbrock, a pastor, and Deborah Kelly, a local college professor, are all dead. Sources tell CBS 5 McCroskey may have stayed in the home with their decomposing bodies for as long as a week. McCroskey is a wannabe rapper who sometimes calls himself Psycho Sam. Here's a sample of his violent lyrics. Yeah, I know I'm crazy and I love to make him scream. Blood, death, murder and rape. I like to mutilate and take him back to my place. Kill and slash. This is not the first time horrorcore has been in the news. Back in 2005, a teenage school shooter in Minnesota killed nine people and then himself. Jeff Wise also told police he is a horrorcore fanatic and a big fan of Mars. Do you accept any responsibility for lyrics that might have encouraged murder? I do have a responsibility as an artist. I have a parental advisory sticker on my album. <laughs> This is fantasy, it's entertainment, it is not something real. Don't go and kill your, yourself or don't kill other people at your school, your parents or nothing like that. That's not what I'm saying. Just put the CD in your trunk and bump it. Mars is traveling on to Phoenix, continuing his Murder at Midnight tour. He goes on to suggest to me that Stephen King writes horror novels and nobody ever suggests he's responsible if a reader gets the wrong idea. Kenny says it's only entertainment, you know, designed to blow off a little steam, shock some parents, and make some money. Yeah, uh, forget the mask and all that and, and, and the nonsensical voice, but um, he, he's pretty clear about the fact this is entertainment. I mean, he says it two or three times there. It says, right. don't take it too seriously. Yeah, and that, you know, the, the fact is, though, where is that line if you suggest something and someone carries it through? And how many of those kids, you know, who look at this stuff are so impressionable at that age? Somebody's responsible. Yeah. All right, Joe, thanks. Thank you, Joe.